in the paddock with Taki and Alex, and I am here this morning with Dave Flores, and uh, he's gonna tell us a little bit about himself and his car. So, Dave, how'd you get into this whole thing? My brother-in-law actually got me into motorsport, I wanna say like 15, 20 years ago, and uh, I started off with autocrossing, uh, BMW club, uh, I started doing track days with him, then my friends got all into like the club racing, so we moved out to like other clubs like NASA. Uh, we did a lot of enduro racing back then, and now um, I just recently left the BMW club. I was president for them for like two or three years, and now I'm helping out at NASA, uh, helping out with chief instructors. Okay. So, what do your duties entail as uh, helping out the chief instructor? Who would be? Who would that be? Jordan Love. Yeah, Jordan Levitt and Rick Myers. So what we do is we help uh, set up the pairings for the instructors. Uh, we help do the instructor training clinic. Uh, we help with the group leaders, um, you know, the classroom sessions, stuff like that. Um, whatever it does to help make people better drivers. Right, um, great. So tell us about this car here. Obviously it's a BMW. Well, first of all, what are all these stickers on the windshield? So each sticker represents a weekend event that I've probably attended over the last couple of years. Um, I think you're looking at two years of stickers. Um, so whenever I come, I kind of just, you know, a little notation that I, I went to the event for, for the weekend. So will there be a second row here? No, I just keep going over the same row because otherwise I won't be able to see you out the track, out the window. If you're, you're probably, I got it might be a concern later, especially if I try to sell the car and I tell them that the car's never been tracked and they can see all the weekend <laughs> that it's been tracked. Um, How about the number? Does it have any kind of significance? Actually, I used to have uh, a 525 race car. Um, so my number was actually 525. Got it. And uh, since these are like magnets, it was easier for me to just do a 25. So I, I just eventually shortened down to 25 since I got rid of the 525 car. Got it. Now, what about the X? What does the X mean? So with NASA, the X is an indication that you're an instructor. So that if we see you on the track in a different run group, this is, it uh, denotes that that person's okay to be there because they're either taking a ride along or a scooter or something like that. Got it. Okay. Well, tell us about the car. So this car I purchased actually on sale because nobody wanted to buy a purple car at the time. It's Techno Violet is the actual color. Techno and Violet. Those actually, marketers at BMW. I think I paid like $4,500 for it in 2008, I want to say. And um, now you pay extra because it's the color it is. Where back then, for some reason, people weren't into I, color. I like this color actually. So, yeah. so Dave, this is an E36? Yes. So E36 is our uh, straight six, right? Uh, originally, yes, they're the straight sixes. So I this was a straight six. Uh, it was an S52. Then I put a supercharger in it. Um, and I enough talking. Just show us what's going on under the hood here. Did not like the supercharger, <laughs> so I got rid of the supercharger, and then I got rid of the engine. And now, okay, where's my thing? Going? All right. So now it's got a V8 in it. Uh, oh no! Does that LS2. say Corvette? Yeah, it's a uh, LS2 from a 2008 vet. Um, I don't know the numbers on it yet of, of the tower. So this whole season I've been just shaking it down, uh, working out the gremlins. Um, Was it difficult doing the swap? And who did the swap? I did the swap. Wow. And everybody says it's super easy. There's bolt-on bolt kits. <laughs> bolt -on. Don't believe any of it. Whatever the budget they say it is, triple it and, and add more. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's never as easy as it looks. So other than the engine, what else have you done to the car? What suspension are we running, brakes? So believe it or not, the coil was a have are probably almost 12 years old now. Um, so this winter I plan on upgrading my suspension to something more recent from this decade. Uh, I did wind up doing body kits. Um, so I was actually able to go with a larger tire setup. So now I have 315 square setup. Tires. And are those 11 inch or 12 inch wheels? So these are 18 by 11s. Um, and I have 315 slicks on them, a square setup. And I'm debating if I want to go stagger next year and go 335 in the rear. Hmm. Um, I'm gonna add a little more power and I might need more uh, grip in the rear. 
How about the brakes? So the brakes are will look set up in the front and the stock set up in the rear. Right, Believe it or not, the stock is actually pretty efficient. Uh, but for the front, I went a little more bike. And I see you have some nice aero on here. Can you tell us about the aero? So this one has a front splitter. Uh, the first day I had it, I loaded it on a trailer and cracked it. So luckily when I make splitters, I make two at a time. So uh, <laughs> I wanted to get this one out this year and then next year I'm gonna have the other one put in with the tunnels. Um, have some canards in the side, a little more downforce in the front. Uh, it helps you get a little more bite in the front. The rear, I have um, an Agent Hart, AJ Hartman Arrow Wing. Um, it's the full chrome, I believe it's a 14 inch board. It's a 72 inch wing, so it's uh, definitely plenty wing for the car. Um, it works pretty well. I think it looks. Uh, I think it flows pretty good. So, Dave, tell us about the interior. What's going on? What do we have in regards so, to safety? We actually. This is actually the stock interior of the car. Um, after this event, I'm actually taking everything out and caging the car. So, so what is your best advice for someone that might want to start DE and get into these? Events? Go to any club that runs near you. Um, the less you travel, the more likely you'll do it more often. True. Um, go with a car that's in its original form. So don't do any upgrades. Don't buy brand new tires. Don't buy performance brakes. You're going to learn more when the car is at the limit at a lower level because you want the car and you to match your skill levels at the same time. So you don't want a car to be really, really good at masking your deficiencies and you learning bad habits because of it. So you want to learn with something that's stock. So you want tires that make a lot of noise so you can hear when you're, when you're at the limit. Um, you want brakes that you can feel chatter so you know when, when they're, they're, they're overheating or cooking or fading. Um, and budget. You'll do more events if you save money here and there. Budget as best you can. Start off with autocross, that's the cheapest. You don't have to really go up, stay overnight at a, ho at a hotel for a track event. You can go for the day. Um, it's usually like 50, 60 bucks for an autocross. And then from there, you know, get into whatever else from there, you know? That's some very good advice. Thanks, Dave. No problem.